So what is up guys? Uh, a good afternoon to each and every one of you who are actually watching the Apriasi J.Web YouTube channel. And now what uh, is the project that we are going to talk about is World Cup Database which is under the <clears throat> Relational Database Project Certification. This is one of the projects in order to get the certificate of the Relational Database from number one free learning programming language and coding which is free code camp so i will send the link below in this of this video to be able for you guys to have a chance to learn web development database back and and python and algorithms data structures and any logic that is fundamental for our career as, a, as, as an inspiring programmer and now <clears throat> okay we are going to start the world cup data database uh, <clears throat> project first i'm going to click the new terminal and oops actually access the second one here to split the new bash terminal first i'm going to get access to our database which is freecodecamp is the username and db name is postgres we are using postgres sql in this project and bash scripting in this project also so yeah the freecodecamp uh, will teach you how to use bash scripting and postgres sql First is going to get the list. Oh, my bad. Okay, the database name is World Cup. We can just connect it and use the World Cup. And connected. Okay. Get the name, which is going to select the game. Oh, okay. right here's the database uh, some of you guys are wondering where did i get the info of this database we actually in this project provided by the free code camp in the game csv what is csv okay this is a comma separated values okay which is year round 2018 comma final comma france comma croatia winner goals comma and opponent goals so something like that using this insert data that sh i'm actually going to explain the how i code it first is i concatenate using this one is in bash scripting concatenate the game csv and uh, i i put it in the while and this is the if ifs which is one of the built-in function in bash scripting so like splitting the uh, the concatenated info from game csv and uh, cluster clustered here in the year round winner opponent winner goals opponent goals so something like this if which is this one if the winner okay this is the we set the variable here if the winner which is the third one and third one here is not equal winner which is uh the system works is uh like the system will neglect this one and actually jump to the uh important part which is the info of the data this is just a title of the csv so uh we're actually getting rid uh getting rid get rid of that and yeah uh, i set the winner id variable here which having a select team id of that winner from teams where name is whatever the name here which is the france okay if france is not uh what do you call this one it's not existing yet in our system we will insert that 
name in the teams which is here all from teams which is here the friends okay and okay i will just And the value is the winner, whatever the name is that. In this case, the fans, for example. And if inserted successfully, that is the response of the SQL, insert zero one. If it's inserted successfully, guys, we will in uh, we will echo the system will echo should I mean the system should echo the inserted in, into teams, which is the winner, whatever the names of the uh, concatenated game csv file so in this case is friends we're just uh you know what i mean like we're just talking about stuff and then the default is we get the winner id same code from the top and yeah okay we're now looking for a opponent id here is the oppo id okay select team id teams from name opponent in this case this one from the port one okay if that oppo id is not existing in this case uh how we uh, how are we going to uh to code it in the bash scripting if double bracket and minus and z and how it works guys it's actually if it's empty like if it's not found then the then method here is we're going to act where we're actually inserting the name of that opponent uh, in this case is croatia okay if it's successfully uh successfully inserted we will insert the the system should insert the inserted name into teams which is the name of the opponent which is croatia in this case all right santayo nga okay and get the new opponent team id okay at the bottom of the if else and now i mean inside the if and now in the game id okay if here which is this one is not here like we're talking about the string over here which is here right if it's not equal to the year which in this case is the number i mean the value of the data from the game csv we will actually insert the game id insert id year round winner id opponent id winner goals and opponent goals okay in this case uh, i'm going to code it this one real quick games All right so this is the game id okay it's automatically input okay the year the final this is the round winner id and which is this one you can see here at the bottom guys inside the if winner uh if variable winner is not equals to winner which is at the bottom we, 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 what do i mean by that is the data or the value of the data from the game csv now get the new winner id team id in that in the case that we example earlier is the friends since this is under the while loop guys so automatically getting all of the information so from that the winner id this one going to get here as well as the opponent id where is it like this one the new inserted id the winner goals of that specific uh specific team the opponent goals of that specific team in this case france and croatia four and two and if the game id is successfully inserted in the game table games table inserted winner team round uh, all right now guys uh we will now tie this one is insert data.sh we truncate the table and yeah so i'll be explaining the second part guys thank you for watching and see you next at the second video